Get him, Martinis. I'm gonna get you, you old fishy, fishy, fishy. Woo! Why are you so mean to that thing? I like being mean. Baby May May, you next. Oh no. Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? I'm doing pretty darn good. Um, I have moved from Durango. Uh, the guy that was in my last video, Roy, he said, Kevin, he said, uh, I got another campus spot that uh, you might like. So uh, we're getting along pretty good. He's good company. It's always nice to travel with friends, make friends and travel with friends. Um, so we moved up about 1,500 feet in elevation, got out of that juniper and scrub oak, that kind of stuff. And uh, well, let me show you where I'm at. Good morning, baby May May. Hey, Dad. We have moved up into elevation and he told me the name of these oaks but I forgot the name. But they're gnarled and twisted and growing kind of funny due to the elevation and the cold temperatures up here, I bet. But it's nice, nonetheless, to sit out here under these beautiful little trees in my zero gravity chair beside Miss Gypsy. <laughs> and looky, looky here. He told me the name of the firewood, I mean, name of this oak. He said it makes a premium firewood that people pay. I guess it burns longer. Well, of course it burns longer than pine. I think we're kind of like up on top of a mesa. I'm not going to tell exactly where I am because I might want to stay here for a while. And we just got here. But I can show it to you a little bit. So these trees have a hard time growing up nice and tall like in Georgia. And we have similar oaks. Like right beside my tiny, beside my purple tiny house, there's a cluster of oaks. But they're straighter than this. But my friend there told me that they weren't even supposed to be there at that elevation. I suspect I'm well over 10,000 feet here. But my body's adjusted fairly well to it because I spent a good deal amount of time in New Mexico this, this high with this elevation. I'll spit it out sooner or later. So kind of in a, in a like a large open area and my buddy Roy he's got his camper over here he just went into town to, to pick up a few little things do a little work I noticed my outside tire here looking a little funny this morning and uh, I'm down to around 90 pounds in it it's rated for 110 the fronts were 105 so i'm a little bit low so i can't travel far look at this monkey i can't travel far until i get the pressure up <laughs> you know i had a chicken one time named rocket did the same thing baby may may rock rock rocket where is she? Look at you. Oh my gosh. I like it. Well, you like it. Well, yeah, I wonder where all the dirt, how all the dirt gets in the bed. 
what back here to Roy's camp spot. One thing about it, get lots of sun. My solar and my batteries are happy. Uh oh, I hear a dog. Got a camper way back over there. This is Roy's little camper. Little 17 foot uh, double axle comfort. I think he said it was mid to late 90s. I've been inside of it and uh, I don't have to duck my head. I just do fit. It's a nice little size to travel with. He picked it up at a good price as well. No rocks to hunt around here. We've got a bunch of little scrub stuff. And I think they're chasing birds. For some reason, there's a lot of little birds in here instead of mice. They'll never catch one, but I'm not going to tell them. Come on, guys. Where are we going? We're going to walk back to the RV. Gosh, May May. My name's Baby May May. I'm sorry, Baby May May. Come on. It does get colder up here. 1,015 feet in elevation makes all the difference when it comes to temperature. But uh, I looked for the sun sunset last night. It just didn't look like it was going to be much, right? I was laying in bed working on a computer, talking to you guys and some comments and stuff. And uh, all of a sudden, the blinds, I had the blinds down. My beige cloth blinds lit up all kind of colors. Orange, pink, magenta. I was like, wow. And uh, it's pretty incredible. And I ran out and I was able to take these shots. I'm not a photographer. I just pretend to be one, but I got a good camera. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? Ooh. Reminds me of an Arizona sunset. All right. You baby's done playing? I hadn't even got started good. Okay, well, I'll let you play for a little bit longer. I'm going to get Miss America off the back. I might go explore a little bit. Uh, I'm not stopping you. Talker. I've got just a touch of wind out here today. There's something I want to show you that I got from Miss America the motorcycle. I was in Walmart in Durango. And I ran across this. A handlebar mount for my phone. Miss America. Now this thing right here is just about as handy as buttons on a shirt. So you got your spring-loaded things that hold it here. You got your little rubber things to come over the edge of the phone. I can't do it because I'm using the phone right this second. And look here. I've got a GoPro mount on the front. So I can set the camera right here and video what's in front of me. I tried using this mount right here and videoing with a camera because it just does come above this but it's too much vibration. But I tried. But this will help a lot if I'm using the GPS on my phone to navigate while I'm on Ms. America. That's what I'm saying. It's $15. Plastic. It's not going to rust I don't guess. I mean you like the screws and whatnot. So there you go. Built for rough terrain. We're going to find out. Before I unload Miss America, me and the babies are going to go for a walk. All kind of little trails and stuff in here. It's nice being back up in the trees. 
and having grass. You kind of take it for granted. And after, after a while, you realize something's different. These leaves are changing up here, too. See the yellows and oranges coming in? Did they ever come up with a rhyme for orange? Didn't think so. And this is very, very clean up here. People have been doing a good job keeping their camp picked up, not leaving any trash. I've seen very, very, very little. Y'all blend in the same color as the ground, y'all. It's nice having the stroller again, except I just don't have anywhere to put it on the inside. I don't know what I'm going to do. When I had it on the BT Cruiser, I, I had a place outside I could strap it. But having a motorcycle back here is making it much more difficult. I'll figure it out. <laughs> and the light that I use to keep under Miss Gypsy to hopefully keep the mice away, it's a solar light, it came from Walmart. And it mounts, you see the two screw holes, I guess it mounted something like that on an outside building or wall. Well, the cover fell off of it. And I glued it back and it fell off again. And I taped it back, puts out great light. <laughs> and then I set it up beside my uh, mini split and it fell off and busted. And it kept working. But it didn't bust this bad. It, it fell again and busted this bad. Now it's not working. But for $15, I have used this and used this. Used it on its pur tiny purple house. I've had it a while. I'm going to go back and get me another one. See if I see a name on it. Nope. I think it was Task Force. But I'm guessing. It's been a good light. So if you're looking for a solar light to put under your rig, I believe I'm going to get two of them. Okay. Got Miss America off the back of the motorhome. Let's go for a ride and take a look around. Well, I have turned this mount every which way from Sunday. And nothing I do is getting the, the right angle. I tried. I still have the helmet mount though.
was fun. Had my little GoPro do up there. Road was getting a little bit rough. That's not a lot of fun. This just has kind of started. It's not horrible, it's just not fun. But check out this high elevation campsite. Look at the vastness and the beauty of Colorado. Especially through there, huh? Wasn't this a great place to camp? Woof. Beautiful. So I hope this new setup's better. I won't know till I'm editing. Not even sure what the video was about. Just sharing my day with you. promised I was going to show you some things, didn't I? Alright. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I'm not sure how long it is now. But I'm going to end it. Where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye. What you doing, baby, May May? I'm taking a, a dirt bath.